Earth's is intended target orbit, and it is precisely there now. And let us wish all the best for the Chandrayaan-3 craft to make its further orbit racing maneuvers and travel towards moon in the coming days. So let me wish all the very best to Chandrayaan-3 for its further journey towards moon. Before that, let me introduce the team behind uh, this mission, the mission director, Mr. Mohan Kumar, and also the, and also the project director of LVM-3. And uh, we have also the mission director for the Chandrayaan-3 craft, the project director of Chandrayaan-3, Veera Muthavel. So over to them, Mohan. Thank you, sir. Honorable, Honorable Minister of State for Science and Technology and Departments of Space and Atomic Energy, uh, Dr. Jitendra Singh, respected uh, Chairman ISRO and Secretary of Departments and of Space, former secretaries of the department, invited dignitaries, respected uh, dignitaries and invitees, I am very happy to report here that the LVM-3 M4 vehicle has injected the Chandrayaan-3 satellite to the uh, precise orbit. Uh, and once again, the vehicle is proved to be the most reliable heavy lift vehicle of Indian Space Research Organization. Congratulations to the teamwork of ISRO family. Uh, I would like to appraise three things here. The vehicle systems are in the continuous process of quality improvement, especially in the, uh, in the uh, event of our human rating efforts towards making the systems reliable. Secondly, the payload also, capability of the payload also is improved by mission uh, strategies as well as vehicle engineering approaches. We are in the process of increasing the launch uh, frequency of this vehicle considering the national requirements as well as satellite demands. Here, so many uh, improvements we have uh, incorporated in this vehicle. For example, the S200 nozzle, they are processed exactly as per the human rating standards, uh, uh, enabling us to have 100% NDT and the inherent pocket erosion characteristics are removed. The L100 and stage Vikas engine Mostly it is 100% uh, qualified to be the human rated engine with uh, indigenously developed LET throats and the uh, pocket, uh, the uh, back wall gas entry also is eliminated and it is a perfect uh, system. Uh, yes, uh, and the C20, <laughs> C20 stage also is uh, 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 perfectly, uh, 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 actually, <laughs> sir. <laughs> So we will, we will yeah. describe all those details later ah, because sir. of shortage of time. Yes, sir. I take this opportunity to thank all the mission executives uh, because <laughs> mission executives for all the supports all along the uh, launch campaign process as well as the launch. Once the la launch manifest is uh, released and mission executives are identified, really this is a penance of so many across the ISRO centers our launch vehicle centers, VSSC, LPSC, IPRC, IASU, SDSC, SHAR, URSC, and SAC, uh, along with all our industrial partners, major players to the, uh, uh, the uh, small scale industries who supply us with uh, all the deliverables in time, quality products, the suppliers of chemicals, propellant ingredients, uh, suppliers of avionic systems, and our own. GOKO facility operators. Actually, the industrial manpower is really our ISRO's virtual manpower. Uh, everybody's uh, efforts went into this and uh, called the, uh, also the prayers and best wishes of all our seniors, retired executives, every, everyone's prayers and our own family members. I take this opportunity to uh, pray God Almighty for all the blessings in the form of this success which was the penance by the ISRO family for last 73 days. And my prayerful pronouns for the successful continuous operations of the Chandrayaan spacecraft for its safe and soft landing on lunar surface and further experiments. Thank you. Jai Hind. Respected Chairman ISRO, Center Directors, Dignitaries and uh, my team Chandrayaan 3, very happy to note that our Chandrayaan-3 has been injected into an intended orbit with very close orbital parameters. 
congratulations and thanks to LVM3 team. And all our spacecraft health parameters are normal, including the power generations in both propulsion module and lander module. Our, our journey to moon has begun now for the most awaited soft landing. We'll be closely monitoring and controlling the spacecraft from Istrak Bangalore. Um, many critical events are lined up, starting from earthbound maneuvers, insertion into the lunar orbit, and separation of lander, and set of deboost maneuvers, and finally the power descent phase for a soft landing. I take this opportunity to thank Chairman Isro, Director URSC, and all the center directors for entrusting me this opportunity, who are behind, who, who have been the motivational and guidance force uh, behind this mission. My special thanks to Chandrayaan 3 project executives, associate project director Kalpana, deputy project directors, project managers across the ISRO, ISRO centers uh, who, have, who have provided an excellent support in building the spacecraft. My special thanks to the, the expert committees for their constant guidance throughout the various stages of the project. I also thank the, uh, uh, the various uh, work centers and industries who have contributed directly and indirectly to this mission. My special thanks to URSC council members, group directors, deputy directors across the ISRO centers. And uh, this, uh, looking forward for the soft landing with all your wishes and blessings from the God. Thank you. Uh, we have our Honorable Minister for Space, Minister of State for Space, Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji, amongst us during this historic occasion of success of launching of LVM3. So I, we would like to hear a few words from him. Over to you, sir. It is indeed a moment of glory for India and a moment of destiny for all of us over here at Sri Hari Kota who are a part of the history in making. Thank you, Team Isro, for making India proud. And thank you, Honorable PM Narendra Modi ji, for having made this possible by unlocking the gates of Sri Hari Kota and enabling the India's space sector. You would recall, Honorable Prime Minister had very recently said, Sky is not the limit. And living by his words, I think the Chandrayaan today has gone beyond the limits of sky to discover the unexplored horizons of the universe beyond. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this day today, the 14th of July 2023, is also a day of vindication. Vindication of the dream that Vikram Sarabhai saw six decades ago.